like banning is the Bruno still like a, a relevant pick at this point? We haven't seen it in so so long. It's, there's, I don't think there's a good choice here for Kabuki. Even if you go out of the way and pick I something that can stress the front line free. like a Moskov. Oh, they still go for the Roger. All right. It's the only other pick that Kabuki finds success on. That we've seen at least. Yeah, it's going to be a hard game for Kabuki. But let's see though. They still they still have uh, that EXP lane. Now, something interesting that they can do here is pick a... Um, to enhance the Roger further, they can pick up the Tyroth, and it does work well against the Parats. Hmm. So like a double shred kind of tactic that is usually used uh, against a Baxia, right? So it's a valid option. Ooh. It is going to be glue. That's Don. Oh, man. Signature pick for Don. What, what do you call Don's uh, glue? Is there a... Glue. No. The Lou? Glon? Glue? Don? Glon. Oh, and the signature! For Clay Deden from Bogor gets his pick, the Yeev. And the crowd gets going too, man. They know what's up. They know this is his comfort hero for Clay. Oh, man. Hence, they clap. Now, Aran, what is going to be the answer? I still lean, I'm still leaning towards the Dyrath, man. I know that it's a, it's a pretty risky pick. You don't really see it much often. It gets punished quite easily. But you have to be a bit more confident. If you want to propel the limitations or like the possibilities of the Roger, this Roger. I wonder if he's going to go with a Paquito again, try and get some more aggressive plays and have uh, a threat Benedetta. to pull for the, for the backline, right? Because by all means, Yves, Nath, Nathan and Angela, there's a lot of targets available if he does get rolling on that power wave. The but it's going to be a Benedetta. Runs. Yeah, he does quite well against a Croc, I mean, uh, Kalu, because I can... Um, Evade some of the slam slam pass pass combo from uh, Don, but it, it also does punish the Eve quite well, right? Yeah, it does. So let's talk about the Eve. Arashi, you're a Eve player, Clay's a Eve player. How's the Eve now in the patch, in the new patch? Good amounts of damage, and what made Eve so fun and annoying, uh, fun to play but annoying to play against, is still there. We talked about consistent slow coming in from the Novaria. The Eve technically can do that even better. But now with so many threats towards the back line, I, what I'm wondering about is the itemization. The battle spell is going to be a flicker. So some mages, like myself, fearing for a, a full-on chase would go for something like a sprint. But flicker to try and combo with an ultimate probably with the real world manipulation. Itemization though, I do wonder what clay is going to go. Is it going to be a, a bit of some defensive items like a brute force breastplate that can still augment the movement speed, the kiting potential, and provide some more defensive stats or full damage and going for broken 14. Let's see though the decider of uh, who's going to take the points in this match. Is it going to be, going to be Aura? Or is it going to be the rise of Welcome the kingdom in RRQ? Here we go, oh my goodness! Early cheese onto clay with the petrify as well, but we get the jungle Hello. cam here. <laughs> I don't think there, there's a first blood. It doesn't seem like we have that notification. So it's chill. Yeah, Clay gets out and he doesn't burn the flicker. He has wow. Brusco on the Angela who can heal him back up. That is very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that. Right now, Brusco and Yaoi is going to trade some damage in the mid lane. Oh, man. It's going to be interesting. The now, I'm kind of worried about Kabuki, Arashi, because if he's behind, it's going to be hard for him to climb up and if it's Kyler, I don't think it's going to be hard for him to climb up from uh, a gold difference. So, let's talk about this XP lane too. We did mention that the Benedetta has a good time against the Blue, but so does the Roger. The Roger can bully Skyler. And Brusco is dead. Because he had to heal Yeev in the early game, he's down so much mana. He has to recall. Yep. Seems like a dive being set up, but won't oh. be happening just yet. This is the issue, by the way, for RRQ. The only real face checker is going to be Irad. Dawn later will help out with that, but that is still a long way to go. He's going with the uh, pull yourself together, by the way, so he's attempting to be making a lot of plays here for sure. Skylar goes with the tenacity for yep. once, and so does Clay. They both understand that this is going to be a game with uh, very difficult odds of survival. Especially with all the dive coming in. Kabuki will be trying to snowball a bit more aggressively on the emblem setup. But we'll have to see if the roaming here will make a big difference. Because he has skill and clay. That's also a matchup that needs to be highlighted. Three man rotation down below to get level four. Yep, RQ definitely has the advantage oh. right now. 
still hasn't hit level 4, but in a second, it'll be A-OK -okay as Yaoi already camping in the bush. Mm -hmm. Power of Nature, Clay gets the ult just in time. Gugun, shield unity. That's his welcome coming down right now. The damage comes through as well. That's a two-man stun into the real world manipulation. Yaoi flickering out the safety as the final blow doesn't deal enough damage to take anyone down. And Irad is still holding on to it. Don, now with the split split mounting Gugun, who pops into Poissons as they look for an entry once again. Valentina stealing away. The hard guard is the one target. Irad wins it out. Iran in the back now isolated, still able to dash away as Irad tries to pull him back with some damage as well. But Iran gets out and so does the rest of Aura, but they are low. Irad wants to capitalize on this. Yaoi puts the wall down, no wild charge, and he has kill. He's coming down as well to put some damage back out. Oh, that's a hard no. guard also. Irad this time, Yaoi taking very low play. Also poking him down. Good, good. looking for the purple buff as Iran has already rotated back in again, and that's gonna be good, good. who rotates back in, finds a shield unity. Iran takes him down with the Phantom Slash and looks for more. Play, next to the chopping block is Brusco. Just ties Iran up. Some good poke from Clay, still consistently dealing damage. Oh, that was a long, long team fight, and I believe RQ definitely stayed there. Welcome, Rashi. They wanted to push the advantage even more, knowing that they do have a bit more spam ability in the early game, but they paid the price for that for sure. It's still a turtle taken by RQ, able to mitigate the, the also reliable neutral objective take from Aura. But here you're seeing, by the way, oh, wow. the change to yep. glue. You can't really regen outside of a fight as reliably as you would with the uh, the glues on the ground. Oh, cheeky one, Yaoi. Wow. Always with this. He did it to Vincent, now he's doing it to Irad. Come dance with me. The detour. Making the purple buff move all around, but look at the damage output from Clay right here. The Eskil, though, has a real world manipulation. Gugun might go for an aggressive play right here. Always spending a lot of time trying to shut down this jungling. You have to remember that there are still other lanes in play right now. Okay, Yaoi also trying to scout some information here. Maybe force a retribution there. You go from Arad. Oh! Right. Now spitting Yaoi back in the turret. Real world manipulation from Yaskyo. Oh, they baited Arad! Kabuki looking for the plate right now. Goes back to gun form as the hard guard comes in, but it's not going to be enough as Brusco is next to the chopping block. Flickers back to his own turret. Around with the rad down, it should be. If return to Arad! Gets the assassination and back and gets out with the eye for an eye. Clean. In and out. I thought Kabuki's gonna jump towards the, um, under the turret considering how low Brusco was. But you know what? He's gonna leave it for Arad. It's gonna be taken just fine. And right now, Aura sitting on a quite comfortable 2k gold lead in five minutes. 2.5k definitely, 2.2k actually, isn't a game-changing amount, but with Aura gaining momentum here, it's not only just the gold, it's also the pressure around the map and the item power spikes, especially for heroes like Aran, who really wanna, like Benadera in the hands of Aran, that wants to make those plays happen, like earlier, right? A big advantage right now is the fact that RRQ don't have a lot of hard crowd control to deny a lot of these daring plays from the side of Aura. <laughs> oh, the right, you Use the death in his welcome. He's trying to catch her from Yaoi. Oh man. Wow. He's being very annoying right here. Looking at the items. He's really sitting. He, just, he hasn't had. Uh, he hasn't built up a single item just yet. But Clay rushes the Ice Queen's wand. He wants that utility oh, a bit oh earlier. No. But whoa. Defensive entropy used up. Oh! RWM face with RWM! The head skill caught under it, still able to dash out. Skylar gets the hard guard and will be able to clear it out. Meanwhile, though, up top, RRQ lack members. A man advantage for Aura and the dragons burn through the kings up top. Dom with a flicker, but Aran doing the same thing, but with his Electo final blow. Wow, beautiful. I thought it was over aggressive from Yeheskill with the real world inflation copy, but in the end, on the other side of the map, Aura capitalized on RRQ's man, and, uh, man dis disadvantage. It's crazy, the fact that Aura are just outmaneuvering RRQ, right? Without the, the Baksha presence, there's just not a lot of ways for RRQ to match the speed here. Aura is always in the right place at the right time, and especially at the EXP lane. Dawn is just not having Yowie. a great time matching the presence in the game, as Yaoi just threatens. Immune. Oh, oh what? Gets caught out. Sky oh, big shutdown to Skylar on that one. Gugun now on the turtle. A man disadvantage for Aura. Yeah, has kill has stolen away the real world manipulation. Done. Trying to distract. Gugun goes in. He finds Retrius. Yeah, he finds the wild charge as well. 
to dislocate your ad. Yaoi. They need to target down from the split split and they go all in onto him. Real room inflation purified out of shield unity now by Gugun in the back as Yaoi should fall. Bounce it up there. Gugun all alone up against three, up against four with play rotating back. But Gugun is so incredibly tanky. Gets brought back to the team once again and should be taken down. Kabuki unable to find an angle to attack his around now. Pops in a petrify just to dash out. Meanwhile, oh. Gugun, no, it's <sighs> done. It's a back to fight to kill. Onto your head skill. When you can see Kabuki is always second guessing himself. Should I go in? Should I go out? It looks oh. like it's the continuous. Chaos ensues and Irad eats Arana. Prusko picks up the kill, now it's Kabuki who looks for the Lycan Pounce and gets one. Wow, it is chaotic indeed, Arashi. It's all out action from both these teams, scrambling to get a lead of some sort. But you have to remember, when you trade evenly, it values the team with the later team composition. In this position, I, I do believe it's RRQ with the long distance from Yi, with the late game super damage coming in from the Natan. Aura needs to find a way to keep these fights a bit more disciplined, a bit more calm and collected. All things said though, they do have a turret advantage here. They've taken both first turrets from the top and bottom side, whereas for RRQ, you're putting a lot of time and effort into shutting down that mid lane and getting that mid turret to get the space to really maneuver, to really punish and go aggressive for once against Aura. RRQ currently sitting in ninth place, but if they win this game, I believe they have a match rate of 4 to 5, which is going to equal them to the 7th placer of the league so far. Based on the game rate, if they win this, they'll be 5th place. Wow. From 9th to 5th, go oh. The drive-by. But the Lord does spawn in 4 seconds. Now, right, Aura's so job is to delay this Lord, to try to pressure Irata of some sort. And I think for our, they're also a bit concerned about Dawn. In that previous fight, oh, Dawn wow. had so much more impact. Now, going for the Lord right here, Aran is in prime position to really pull our Q away from each other. Seems like Aura are setting up a trap though. The damage onto Don, chunking him low, but Skylar Entropy forward into the real world oh, manipulation. No. And now it's gonna be Aran who jumps in with a bunch of fly binding clay in his own real world manipulation. But he didn't actually use it. He was just in front for some reason. Wow. Oh, already flickered Don. That was definitely. Another attempt to look for a kill, but it did not end the way that he wanted to. A flicker burned out for nothing for now. Yaoi zoning it right away as Gogun pops in a shield unity back to the Lord. Kabuki now in the gun form as Don jumps in onto him now with a split split as well. Gogun knocked up for a bit. Irad still full HP. Gogun wants to reset oh. and he does. Yaoi mounted on, pops in the power of nature, brings Don all the way back as Kabuki now goes in to eat up on that HP bar. That's a wild charge to knock him up, and that is a big scratch in the face from Kabuki. Arad, what? Oh no! Yeah, I for an eye into Barat, he goes! Huge mistake from Aran. And right now, they don't really have that advantage anymore. That advantage oh. that you has killed. Look at the damage from Skylar. Gee! Almost assassin-like coming in from Skylar. And with Clay back in the picture, that's a consistent damage over time coming in from the Yeev. You look at his items, he's still... He went straight for the Divine Glaive, he wants burst damage, he's not here for poke. Definitely, and right now Aura is still staying at the Lord Pit. They don't want to try to look for something else right now. Try to, try to control the area around the Lord to give them the advantage if they want to pull the trigger in this time. As Aran already respawned, and he's looking to do around things on the top lane. I think Aura is just very concerned about going for the neutral objective and then getting punished by having their members taken out. It has been what RRQ is able to be doing, but now on the top side, Aran has shown himself. He is pushed, and now the wave is set up for Aura's success. RRQ are the ones looking for something here in exchange. Up top, the slow push, Skyler, oh! He goes in all the way, but Hardguard is still there. The eye for nine doesn't... Ooh, too much, only gets him out. Wow. That was almost scary, but he's baited <laughs> out a big resource, the Hardguard. The marches that we're playing here, but Aran is not beefy at all, he's full damage. He has to watch out for any damage that's coming in, especially Skylar. And right now, conceal it for Yaoi. An attempt once again as Arad gets knocked up by the Lord. Now chunked down as well. Don holding on to it in the midst of it all. Now, it's the Denton that's welcome into it. Retreat right battle, it's Kabuki! What? Not any of the junglers! And Aura disengage. Don for Yaoi, a Lord for nothing. Oh, God. That was intense. Could have gone 
any other way, or like either way, especially for RRQ, but they got it done in the end. And right now, RRQ, they definitely have the resources, they have the tools to clear the load. What's going to happen in the next stage of the game? I think Omar is going to try and use a three-wave push to get as many objectives as possible. Because honestly, RRQ has a lot more high ground playmaking, uh, you know, to try, clear, to try and clear these lanes out and zone Aura for making a big play. Unless, of course, Yaoi has something to say about that. That fight was so, so close, but I think there was a miscalculation from Don. He was stuck in the midst mm -hmm. of a big fight with his ultimate and he didn't pop it until it was way, way too late. That is something that can definitely be improved. It's still anyone's game at this point, but Aura is definitely working against the clock here. They want to try and end before all these backlines from our Q. Drive by again. Oh, oh good. You gotta stop that man. Now Yaoi looking for Sandwich. This one, Iran. Iran oh. caught up. Sandwiched. Has to walk back, giving away a tier two turret. Now Iran just holding the Lord down. Doesn't want it to crash onto the base turret. Giving his team enough time to deal with the other waves. In the top lane, in the mid lane, and now rotating back to the bottom lane. A good defense from RRQ, but they've lost all their tier twos. Whew. In terms of team fight, I do favor RRQ a little bit, especially with Skylar just pretty much shredding everyone. Doesn't really matter if it's Gugun or Yaoi. Any kind of defense item doesn't really matter against a Natan full item. As you can see here, the item, Arashi, what's going on right now? Well, the fleeting time is completed for Brusco, even from the previous fight, actually. The thing is, Ark hasn't been able to really get anything off the back of a massive hard guard. And for now, once these beefier members, the... Well, of course, the reset Yowie. coming in from Yaoi makes it difficult. <laughs> Arando with full damage. Again, I think the only real win condition for RRQ right now is to get a definite engage, a proper catch. If they're only going off a pullback or a slow coming in from the, the Yi, the, the, the Angela, it's just not enough, right? Especially with Yehe's skill, Yaoi, Kabuki, and Aran technically all having an escape tool. They have to try and make sure that they can get someone stuck long enough for Skylar to just delete it. Yep, I think one of the win conditions for Aura that they try to execute here is to bait out the Purify somehow. Uh, preferably Yaoi with the Wild Charge from Skylar. And try to execute that Petrify Electro Phantom Blow. And I believe even with the Hard Guard, Aran can burst that uh, one down or like get through it. Because he has that, um, whatchamacallit, Sea Halberd to kind of deny the healing potential from the Angela. Let's see though, another Lord is coming and now Aran. This is the time that he's gonna shine. Ooh. That's a big problem, man. The fact that he has so much more mobility. Sets up for the wave right here. Skylar might show, and that would be the, the Wait a minute. for Aura to just immediately melt it down. Skylar is in the bottom lane. It looks like they don't want to contest this. I don't think they can contest this, even if they want to now, with Skylar being so far off. Irad, can he be the saving grace? Dead to this welcome, charged up already. Now on to Yaoi, he goes. That's a retry battle, 50-50. Go good versus oh. Irad, and it's go good! Who secures it for the Dragons? Meanwhile, the Benedetta in the back, trying to zone Natan away. Kabuki mounted on earlier, but Gugun jumps in with the shield unit now. Oh. Meanwhile, Arad gets gunned down by Skylar. Don will suffer the same fate as Arad. Brusco in the last point. Oh, oh no! Kabuki gets Kabuki. the team, and he's one of his able to Ooh. flicker out to safety. <laughs> oh, gotta breathe a little bit here as the Lord is coming, and now it might be a useless Lord at this point, unless Kukun has something to say, because the damage is not what there the for heck? Kabuki. Look at that, what? the Lord! Huh? That's a Lord to a Natan! That's a minion! Immediately <laughs> cleared, all, cleared out by Skylar right there. Man, that was such a close fight. And RRQ, that was a very bold move, sending Skylar away and still contesting. The fact that Don, though, has been able to really zone Kabuki away has been very beneficial oh. for the team. Look at him, Skylar! Oh. That's, he just oh. melted Yaoi and Yaoi couldn't really do anything. He couldn't even go for the engage because he knows there's a Purify on Skylar. And now he has a Wind of Nature. Yep. Two layers instead of one. They have to break through this. Or even three layers with the hard card also because so far, one of the... I mean, there have been some hard cards towards other member, but it's mostly Skylar. They know it's Skylar-centric at this point because he has the damage to break through everything. Now if you're on the side of Aura, it's gonna be a tough situation here. Oh no. Oh! Let's see. We're gonna pop to the point. Sounds Skyler melting through. Or to use an entropy right now to be able to replace. You won't be able to do enough with Skyler's damage! Client Skyler! 
the dynamic duo from season nine. <laughs> Just want to remind you guys that Aura has not won a match against RRQ in about one and a half years since season 10. And they might prolong that streak again in this time around. It is a 3k gold lead right now, but it doesn't really tell you what's going on in this map. What's going on in this game? Skylar is snowballing and oh, look at oh. that! He can do whatever he wants <laughs> at this point. There's a Purify, a hard guard, a Wind of Nature. Yeheskiel is the guy who can actually kill him, but we'll see if he will be able to do so. There's a lot of damage being outputted by Aura though, but the health dispenser Brusco is ready for the task. Lord is up in 34 seconds, and now Gugun is up. That window of opportunity wow. where RRQ has the numbers advantage has passed. Only a 3k gold advantage, but Skylar is at full build. Does it even matter? Speaking of build, that was a necklace of Durant from Dawn. I would probably prefer to use Dominant's eyes, but what's the intent here, Rashi? Because I'm kind of struggling to, you know, decipher what this means. I mean, logically speaking, I think it just feels like no one's going to really target him in, in the fight. So if he goes for uh, Nexus of Durance, if he goes with the split split, he can apply that debuff to everyone, right? Oh, and no. now RRQ, they have a chance to just nuke down this Lord, but Gugun is really waiting in the wings. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh no, Entropy, this might be the window that Aura is looking for. And Ron is already looking for that angle. Death is welcome, charged up already, Irad. Oh no. In the bush, Lord knocked him up. They don't know though. They don't know it's the bush. They don't know about the Death is welcome. And they reset it. Not a mid lane, oh, one v one run. Oh my god, Skylar! He's the assassin now! There was also an Athena shield from Aran. Mind you, this is a player that's overly aggressive with his builds, and now he's respecting the damage from Clay and, uh, and Skylar. Oh, again, Don in the midst of it all. Jumping to the back all alone, though. He's isolated, and he will be taken down way too far for the rest of the team. Aran in the back, the hard guard hovering over Skylar. RRQ so desperately holding on to the Lord, but Aura have a man advantage. Oh man, what's the idea here for Aran? Do, do, do you want to kind of cancel out the hard guard? That was that's possible. Oh Skylar. my god, Skylar! Oh, goodness gracious! You gotta stop, man! You gotta stop! What a monster right <laughs> now! <laughs> what the heck? They sent Brusco to the top side to deal with the waves. Aran might try and go for an assassination. That is what Brusco is worried about. But overall, the, the rest of the team are able to just sustain up through. A run forced away. Oh, and a wild charge flickered away from now. Skylar against the Petrify, against the Assassin. He oh. rips it out. Yaoi stunned up, has the immortality. Kabuki flickering out of the missiles. That could bring him back. No run. Yaoi's low. Gugun with a winner truncheon. The this last hope. Oh, this should be it. Unless Gugun make a miracle play out of this. RQ. Surely will not fumble this one around half HP. What do you want to go, Gugun? He wants to contest. He's confident in the 50 50. He's confident in the HP bar. Yeah, has kill. RWM, hard guard used up. They want to gamble it. 50 50 on the board. As Gugun looks for an opening right now, it's a real room of blaze. He gets placed oh! down. He melted down. Pops in the winner's dungeon just in time. The retry. It's Irad who secures it. And Gugun gets melted by the Natan. How do you counter this? How do you counter this? At this point, you have the Lord, you have the Tan, you have a lot of layer to cover if you want to break through Skylar. Look at the builds, full damage with one with of nature. Skylar is absolutely dominating this game. That's all he needs, man. And even Clay going with the Lightning Truncheon, he's there for the pickups, he's there for the damage. Now they're going to be trying to siege it up, and without the right clear, it's all hinges on how RRQ want to initiate on this final defense against Aura. Can they find the pickoffs? The moment of truth. The yes, Eskiel is still playing in the front line there. And now RRQ, they have the wave, they have the Lord. It's time to go. And the Entropy. Up top, the Lord still going to be dealt with right now as Ron pops in the final blow, but the Purify is there right now. That's what is welcome, used up as Kabuki gets thrown away by Dawn. Skylar's still free hitting. Yaoi in the midst of it all, losing immortality. Gugun as well, down the back, it has kill. The base is wide open. RRQ, the kingdom raise their banners. We will not go down. The kings have answered.
I am getting chills right now. Who would have thought game number one is looking really bleak. They were in despair. But the light of hope from Skyler.